Hello, this is an Astroneer experiment video where I try out an idea and see what happens. Today, we're going to find out what happens if you blow up a shuttle mid-flight. The first experiment was to attach some dynamite to the shuttle, and because dynamite has a delay, uh, activate it, get in the shuttle real fast, and launch, and see what happens. Surprisingly, I survived. I just popped right out and fell to the ground and everything was fine. However, if you notice in the background you can still hear the thruster going. Now this was an interesting phenomenon in that that sound persisted basically until you reloaded the world. So I blew up two more shuttles and each time I blew it up the noise compounded. It just kept getting louder and louder. So that was an interesting quirk of the game. The next test, I effectively made an auto arm detonator, which was an auto arm timer uh, set to trigger some explosives inside a large shuttle. But once the door closes, all the activity on the inside stops. So this means my timer wasn't running while we were flying. It was just sitting idle in the, in the shuttle. And you can see when we land, uh, the auto arm is in the exact same place it was when the shuttle launched. So that didn't work. The next step was to figure out how to put something on the outside of the shuttle so that it would actually work while we were launching. From this clip, you can see that the thruster can't be put on the inside or in the oxygenator slot but if you go into creative and turn on free vehicle fuel you can launch a rocket without a thruster which means we can use that spot to add things to our shuttle here is a quick setup consisting of a small battery a battery sensor attached to some dynamite and a small generator this setup will give us enough time to get into orbit before we trigger the dynamite to explode. So here we are in orbit and the timer triggers the dynamite and nothing happens. It seems like once you reach orbit your shuttle can't be destroyed. But just to make sure let's do this again with more dynamite. And again, the timer triggers the dynamite. And again, nothing happens. You can't blow up your shuttle. A side note for this experiment, if you actually want to try it, you need to put the dynamite on the far side of the shuttle door. Um, in this clip, you can see that I put it next to the shuttle door and when I reached orbit, my line to the battery sensor disappeared. So, uh, just another interesting quirk of the game. And for the final experiment, we're gonna try and blow up a shuttle as high in the air as possible. Uh, this time, I uh, launched the shuttle when there was three bars remaining on the battery. This worked out very nicely as we got almost completely into orbit before we actually detonated it, as you'll see in a second. And again, you just pop out, but this time very far up. So in summary, while you're launching, you can blow up the shuttle. Once you reach orbit, you can't anymore. If you blow it up during launch, you just pop out of the shuttle and start falling, but it does leave behind the, the sound of the thruster until you reload the world. And the side note of if you want to detonate dynamite in orbit, you need to put your trigger on the opposite side of the shuttle door, otherwise your trigger lines will disappear. So that was my experiment in blowing up a shuttle while it was flying. Thank you for watching.